playing uh, quite well recently, so I could see them pulling off this series. b going can be the first to push through here at the B side for Orglis. Does get Yoda down just past Cross. That frees up Kusa to get the bomb planted behind Fountain, and he does without any further contest there. All four Made in Brazil players making their way up Banana. All four of them with USPs and full health. Orglis is in a very good defensive position overall here. A do spot MIBR moving in from the B entryway. Turtle gonna kill Kusta here at barrels. Turtle and Woody taking a lot of damage, but not going down. Exit can kill Swisher. Backside with a headshot. Cello able to take down Minus and Dark Corner. There was a single trade that would have a Cello. Good for another good P headshot towards construction, but B Will's fending off the C4 from all. Fala galera, beleza? Aqui quem fala é Leas, tô aqui no começo do vídeo só pra apresentar pra vocês o CSGO Fest, mano, patrocinador fiel aqui do canal E graças à força de vocês liberaram mais um doll pra todo mundo que utilizar o cupom Aleas Caso você queira depositar qualquer coisa e continuar aqui jogando aqui no site, mano, não esqueça de utilizar o cupom Aleas E utilize também o link, sempre o link da descrição, fechou? Tamo junto galera e bora pro vídeo Grouped up in middle now, looks like they do wanna lean towards A, but it's not... A full A commit quite yet. Switcher now leading the way upper mid. Jungle side is smoked off offensively. But Kusta right there in that smoke. He's looking for contact. He's not going to find it quite yet. Woody still in the library. And Swisher's got the right idea. Spamming towards that smoke. But he's not quite going to connect. And it's going to be the head stack from Woody. At the back of jungle, and that's going to lead to Swisher's demise. Trade does not go out. Time getting low here. And I'm not too big of a fan of Orglis putting this much pressure on themselves this late in the round. Daps does get a nice pick here at the B side, but Orglis with no time for error now making their way onto the A side. They do kill two, but it's Woody on the trade from hidden corner. He's prevented the plant so far. And now there's going to be no time to plant, even though Minus... That's not going to be the case. Minus actually taking quite a bit of damage there down Banana. Minus still pushing down Banana. Does end up killing Cello. B-Wills on the peak out of Palace. Takes down Exit and Big Pit. Meanwhile, on Banana, Yoda and Woody... Able to down two more, and suddenly we're in a balanced three on three. Still 50 seconds remaining here. B Will's making his way into Big Pit and then picks off Woody through the smoke there in front of Library. It's a huge pick there from B Will's that frees up Orglis to get the bomb planted here at a default. Daps gonna step out from the mid cubby to headshot Turtle there. Upper mid, and it's only Yota remaining here for MIBR. Hota gonna get a late kill there in the A halls, and he's gonna fall back to save that A1S now. Just over 30 seconds remaining. They have a Lurker over in the A halls. But if Orgus is going to fall back A, it's going to have to be right now. And it is. Minus sets up the distraction at B entry. He's downed by Yoda. And an advantage for MIBR. Still make that a two-man advantage. Exit able to kill one here towards the A halls. What are you going to down two from Hidden Corner? He's looking... For that final kill on Dakusa, Kusa does eventually get redemption, but he's only got 12 HP remaining and time not the on his side. actually hit B again soon, but we'll see how this potential A take plays out. Yoda on the peak from jungle side does kill Minus in middle. It's Turtle. And that dangerous peak from quad, and he's able to get two quickly. Exit going to down B-Will's upper mid, and that's going to be all A players down for order. This bomb is down. Daph's going to get picked off there in the B. 
Whereas Orglis, a bit questionable on some of their offensive trades. And some of their opening picks. Turtle, meanwhile, perfect position in the center of the A site. Drops one exit. Going to back him up to get another here down at A. Trades have gone out offensively, but it's still a man advantage here for MIBR. Bomb not planted yet at A, but Orglis needs to hurry that up. They actually have some space to work with here. Just uh, almost able to pick off Woody there in library. He does get the bomb planted. Peeking towards library, but not quite able to connect. are making their way towards site choking in from both sides kusa and b-wells combining for two yoda did trade out on kusa and it's only b-wells remaining there in big pit oh no b-wells he only had five health he will go down and aid in response that tags cello below half hp but it's still man advantage here for mibr they're still running that double op setup as Orgless has not been able to get those ops out of their hands Orgless going to lose another player over here at the A side, and it is a two-man advantage for MIBR once more. Turtle on the peak from jungle does kill Kusta upper mid. Remaining here for Orgless, only B-Wills now. He does kill one in big pit, but it's B-Wills versus four, and it's Woody with a very nice... But if Orgless can get this pistol around and get some momentum going, they... Close the gap within a reasonable amount of time here. B Wills does get the initial stop there over the B entry. Kusta cop pushing all the way down towards the Ald Bridge. What are you going to put him down with the Glock headshot? That does leave us in a four on four. Still quite a bit of time remaining here. Wills on the peak from Coffin. He has spotted Turtle. And the remaining MIBR players now following Turtle onto the B site. Cross is smoked. Exit going straight for that plant. Coffin does get the bomb planted without any further contest there. Orglis looking to retake four on four. Swisher moving in from Cross. Does get a nice headshot there into the cross corner. Minus and Buell is going to get two more headshots. Onto the B side, it's only Woody remaining. He did get one trade. He's able to get B Wills down as well, and he gets the final kill on to. Oh, able to pick off Daps there at the end of a hall's trade goes out at jungle. MIBR is taking a lot of damage. And Orglis could actually pull this off. Exit does kill Minus on the A side. And Turtle going to get Kusta down just outside Library. Very unfortunate there for Orglis because three MIBR players still quite damaged here. But it's only B Wills remaining over here outside of the uh, Library pocket. Spamming in that direction. B Wills still not tagged. He wills the late headshot there onto Woody, but he does not have a defuse kit. That would have been very interesting to see what happened if he did. He's going down middle with that 5 7 and scout. Yoda actually picking one over at the A side. B wills. On the peak from B entry, does kill Turtle through that smoke partially. MIBR now falling back through mid. Moving towards the A site from lane with all three players. Kusta's ready. He's able to down two. He loses his teammate in pit, but Kusta able to get the third kill needed there. MIBR grouped in upper mid. They've got three upper mid. Yoda. 
over in the gate walls. Looks like they're going to split the A side. Yoda with a great pick there onto A. Kusta down. Daps still in Big Pit. Does kill Cello cross site. He's going to have to deal with Balfi. Meanwhile, Minus kills one towards lane. He's traded out by Exit. He will still fighting here at A. Does get one. Terrorist side. Daps on the peak down mid, does get one, but he's immediately traded out. B-Wells at the end, Banana gonna kill Exit. And advantage for Orgulus. Cello on the peak down middle as well, does kill B-Wells. Leaves us in a two on two. Still 40 seconds remaining here. Swisher, here's those footsteps wrapping around from the back of all. Does peak down there and kill Turtle. It's gonna leave only Cello remaining for MIBR. He's making his way through underpass, pops his head up there near the bench. He's taken down by Swisher as he Swisher walks indeed on his default there at Coffin. And IBR again using some utility here towards B. Swisher and B Will's gonna have to go big. B Will's does kill one from the back of the site. It's up to Swisher here. He does kill two. Cello does trade him out as well but it's still man advantage for this not for long turtle stepping through construction to kill daps minus meanwhile does get redemption there a couple seconds later in construction bomb planted but it's only cello remaining here for made in brazil he's got 19 health ak-47 in hand at coffin he hears those footsteps moving in from cross quick headshot onto kusta but Minus will get that trade. And my BR taking control of upper mid. Game is on the line here. Orgles with the man advantage. They need to win this round. Stay in this one. Swisher firing through arches does kill one through the smoke exit does get the trade right back through the smoke still man advantage here for orglis bit of an awkward situation here as mibr has started to move through ct spawn and that might have been exactly what they needed to do they still have time to plant the bomb they have to be wary of b wills there on banana b wills now moving back into the b entry but you need three and a half seconds to plant, and it looks like they got it off just in time. B Wills did peek back towards Fountain, killed one exit, got the trade, and B Wills thought for sure that they weren't going to get it planted there at B. Play by MIBR. Kusta able to trade out onto exit there. Construction brings it to a 1v1. Kusta versus Yota. Map on the line. Kusta, he's sticking the diffuse, and Yota. Falls back onto Banana, does not end up reaching. Minus on the peak from mid pocket, does kill Cello over there towards quad. Trade has not go gone out. It's actually Yoda killing two in the site. That's not good news for Orglis, who are trying to stay in this map. Daps is still in Big Pit in that smoke. Turtle gonna kill one more here on site, but it's B Wells and Daps each getting. A defensive stop here at A. But it's Exit and Yoda trading back just a moment later in MIBR ultimate as they push outside with the C4. Cellos are all the way up by the hell windows. He's taken down by Minus. Interested to see what Kusa does here with those duelies he bought. He's still lurking on top of Hut. MIBR opening the double doors into the B site because they did indeed push all the way through Secret. Yoda still lurking at the top of Secret stairs, takes down Daps. Or please quickly trade him out, and they do. Kusta accurate with those duelies. Exit still by the double doors. Does kill Kusta here in the lower halls. Three on three situation, but. B Wills with only one HP remaining. Finished off by Exit, who turns his attention back towards the DD stairs to headshot Swisher. It's only minus remaining here for Orglis, who's trying to knife Woody there in the vents. 
I think he did stab him once and finishes him off with the sidearm, but regardless of all that, the C4, but outside of that, some very passive positioning here from MIBR. They're now starting to lurk further outside. Turtle on the wraparound from Mini does down Daps. He's got low HP. Swish with an opportunity for a multi kill. He does kill Turtle, but the trade immediately goes out. Exit able to get one more there inside, and it's only Kusta remaining in heaven for Orblis. Kusta on the repeat does kill Woody. He's ultimately found by Yota, MIBR. Hello? Way out squeaky, but he's down by Swisher. There's at least one terrorist here who made it down the vents. That was Turtle with the C4. He's already going straight for the plant. Bombs implanted. Front of the B side daps. Still keeping an eye on T Silo outside, and his intuition was right. Exit down. Two man advantage here for Orglis as they look to retake the B site. It's not going to be easy. MIBR is in position. Woody still lurking up by the main vent. He peeks down vent to kill Swisher. It's now just a single man advantage for Orgles. Make that a two man advantage again as Daps steps into the back alley. Not a lot of time remaining. Turtle able to stop one on site. Kusta gets the trade. B Wills is sticking the defuse route. Turtle able to kill Swisher in Vents. That does bring the man advantage to MIBR. As they continue to lurk towards B. Minus is on the B site right there at the front of site. He's the next immediate obstacle here for MIBR. And bomb still not planted. Control room window is broken. Kusta rotating back towards ramp does kill Yoda in ramp room. Kusta might have to get at least one more here. Minus is still on the site itself. Does kill one back site. Kusta off the rotation. Lower ramp. Able to get another turtle. Did get redemption on the bottom of site onto Minus, but he's not going to have enough time to plant the bomb in this world. Turtle already in the vents, so Orgul is going to have to be very careful here. Even those A players are going to have to be on guard. Cello with a nice headshot there from control to the back of the B side. Less than a minute remaining now. Man advantage for MIBR. Bomb being planted on B. It looks like Orglis is indeed just falling back to save the rifles here. So the MIBR going up by four rounds once again. Woody with a late exit outside. That's not going to change too much here. Yoda on the push out of hut. Quickly kills two. Gets a third. As he turns his attention towards Mini. This was a full buy this round from Gorgless. And they came up short, not able to get a trade here before the plant went down. Just to picks off Yoda from Secret to T Silo. Being spotted by Turtle there at lower. And Turtle does end up getting... The kill is minus remaining in big garage. He's eventually finished off by exit. Minus and Daps taking some early damage there. Towards outside in ramp by way of nades. Hello, actually going to pick off. Daps at ramp. Swisher killed inside. Trades go out, but Moody, or excuse me, Woody, able to trade back. Onto B Wills there in Rafter. Oh. 
Yoda fakes the plant on A, doesn't end up going for it. And Minus makes him pay. Trades back, plus one. Woody gonna kill one from the site. Brings us to a 1v1. Minus does spot Woody through the gap there in the silo. And Woody eventually does peek back. Turtle leading the way outside for MIBR. Does pick off Kusta and Big Garage. Takes a lot of damage in response. He's sitting at only 4 HP. It's going to be B Wills to register the next kill, though. Over at Squeaky brings us to a 4 on 4. Daps, meanwhile, keeping an eye on Secret, does kill Turtle down there. And so even though MIBR had the weapon advantage this round, Orglis has the man advantage now. Less than 45 seconds remaining. If Orglis is going to have a reasonable shot at this comeback, they could definitely use one more round here in the first half. Hello and Woody able to quickly kill two there towards A and Lobby. Defensive stops go out at A. Suddenly it's a 1v1. Cello's got to get the bomb planted or get the kill. He draws Daps out down onto the B site. Orglis heading on to B as well. Cello gets the initial kill. B wills trades out. IBR already has multiple rotated onto lower here, but Kusta at range, gonna pick off Yoda there. Through Hazard Door, B Wills and Swisher each get a headshot at lower as well. That's gonna leave only Woody remaining for MIBR, but Woody stepping in from lower ramp kills two, and Orglis needs to be cautious here. Woody smokes off double doors, but Daps eventually does get that final kill needed. At Minus and Swisher up in heaven. Woody spots Minus. Minus gets the initial kill. Turtle trades. Swisher going to trade right back from heaven. Man advantage for Orglis. They do have control of the A site. Kusta now planting behind Silo. Bomb has been planted. MIBR basically just looking for exits here. Daps going to finish off Yoda there in the squeaky door room. Good for one more in lobby. Cello gets a nice deke headshot though. Into mini, but ultimate Cello is actually playing ramp with that AWP. So Orgo's gonna have to be careful if they head that direction. Looks like they're actually headed towards A. Turtle gets the initial stop from Raptors. B Wills headed out. Squeaky does get the trade there into Raptors a moment later, but it's still exit on the A floor. Keeping an eye on hut entrance, kills one, trade goes out. We're left in a three on three, just over a minute five remaining. Kusa gonna fake the plant. He's trying to draw a player out there from Mini. Woody, the closest player there to Mini, defensively, that is. Swisher, a few seconds later, does get Woody down. In mini Kusta now going for the actual plant bomb has been planted without any further contest, and it looks like MIBR just now falling back to save those rifles. Minus leading the way towards ramp here for Orglis. Yoda's waiting in ramp room. Boosted kills two. That's a huge play from Yoda. Swisher and Daps remaining here for Orglis. Daps on the peak into ramp room does get one, but Woody gonna finish off Swisher downstairs with his sidearm that's gonna leave only daps remaining here for orglis daps does have the c4 in his possession full hp headed down towards b from ramp 
He spots Woody front sight, and he's not able to get the kill. Woody. Yoda eventually finishing off Swisher there on the secret stairs. 45 seconds left. Still just a single man advantage here for MIBR, but they combine for all the remaining defensive stops there at A. Yoda on the peak from Big Garage to outside does pick one. Meanwhile, Daps with the big pick for himself, finishing off Woody at range there towards the Heaven Rafters. Orgulus now making their way through secret to the B side. They're able to kill Cello on the B side. Suddenly, it's a man advantage for Orgulus. Could they pull off the eco here? Minus going to have to take down Yoda, and he does. It was close, though. Minus taking a lot of damage there. He's only got 8 HP remaining. Turtle and exit. Left side. Turtle headed up heaven there late. Did finish off B Wills. Slides away with that AWP with Yoda lurking in the back of Big Garage. Lines up two. That's a brutal blow to Orglis here, who's trying to claw their way back into this one. Yoda on the repeat towards outside kills Kusta on the T boxes. B Wills does pick off Turtle there. Towards the opposite vent, but only two players remaining here for Orglis. Exit stepping out from the side of opposite vent does kill B Wills there. Towards Squeaky, it's only Daps remaining here for Orglis. He does kill Yoda finally there in Big Garage. But clock is getting low. Daps ultimately just trying to save this rifle, I'd imagine. He runs into Mini, finds himself in a Molly and finished off by exit. Orglis on four AKs and an A1S here. Orglis making their way into ramp room. Contact not made yet. That changes quickly. Minus headshots Woody. Opposite side of ramp Yoda. Over by ladder does pick off Minus in ramp room. Orglis not able to get a trade angle off that. We're left in a four on four. Minute remaining. Yoda holding things down still from hell does get one. Daps good for the immediate trade, but Daps takes a lot of damage there, and it's still a man advantage for MIBR. Time starting to get low. 25 seconds remaining. Kusta making his way out inside. Kusta, the last man standing, kills two inside, but he's only got 18 HP remaining. Cello making his way through the vents. Kusta fakes the plant. He knows Cello is in the vents, he falls back a few steps, does get the bomb planted, narrowly dodges that nade, it tags him down to five HP. Cello is all the way on the A floor now. Cello stepping back into mini, holding the squeaky angle for now. He's now moving towards site. Kusta, not to react quickly, Kusta had his eyes on hut, Cello. Came out on the wide angle there from Mini. Cello able to get the kill in the defuse there. And MIBR takes this series in two maps. Orglis again.